everyone, I'm Piet Levy. I'm features reporter with TatMilwaukee.com, and I'm here with Chris Tomlin at the Wisconsin State Fair. Chris, thanks for chatting with us. Hey, man, thanks for, this is awesome, man. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the other day at the State Fair, uh, I don't know if you know if they're doing this, but the band Perry was here, and they did a cover of, of your Amazing Grace rendition, and it was just really, really well done. Have you heard it before? Have you heard them do it? I, I really want to hear them do it. I keep, he I keep uh, hearing about this. I see yeah. the tweets. I see Facebook. I see so many things. Every time they play it, you know, Somebody is texting me or somebody who was who knows me or something at the concert. It's like, oh my gosh, we're just at the band Perry and they ended the night with this amazing grace. My chains are gone. I would love to hear them do it because I'm sure it's just like completely first class and I, it's just awesome to me. It's quite an honor that they would use that song. Well, your music definitely has an impact. You've been doing this for a while, but yeah. but uh, you know, uh, congratulations are in order because you finally got your Grammy after many years yeah, of working you. in the business. So congratulations to you. Thank you. I never really thought we would receive a Grammy. Um, you know, that was we've been nominated a few times, and so it was really cool. When they called our name, I was just like, you got to be kidding. I was just like, you know, that was, that was, that was a crazy thing. But, you know, the record that won, uh, that received the Grammy, was And If Our God Is For Us, one of our latest records. And I'm, I'm really proud of that music and proud of that record and proud of what those songs and what they've meant in the church. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what it is for us, you know. It's not about receiving awards that we didn't. We're not out there just like, how can we do this to get number one hits and receive awards? We're trying to really give a voice to the church and, and really write songs that amplify and give people something to say to God, you know, and sing. And that's 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 what it's about for us. But to be recognized by your friends is it's really cool. It's really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, obviously your music has that powerful message to it. Um, but uh, you are a human being. People are calling your names. You're famous. You get Grammys. Is it is it hard to deal with fame, especially when your music is is uh, you try to have that that deep religious meaning to it? Is it hard to deal with the fame aspect? Well, it's an interesting it's an interesting dynamic. But I don't really consider myself famous. I never think about it, and I, and I'm not just blowing smoke here. I, I, <laughs> I really don't think about it, and I know people recognize my music and know and know know who I am to a certain degree, but. You know, at the end of the day, I know only I can know what's going on inside. You know, and that's the that's always the check of motives, of heart issues, and you know, just staying humble and before um, before God, and just knowing where you come from, and knowing it's the grace of God, knowing it's just looking back and going, wow, how in the world did has my music been used like this? This is an amazing thing. As you you've been in this business for a while, writing these music and the, these songs, is it ever challenging to, to continue to try to inspire people after doing it for so many years? You know, it's just what I feel like God's given me to do. It's gifted me to do, and and that's what I love to do is try to write a song in a way that give voice, give somebody a voice to worship God, and you know that's what I love. And so, it's a challenge always to continue, you know, to try to write better songs, to write great songs. But you know, and I and I really consider it. A, I really think about the people. I think about the audience when I'm writing songs. Of how how does this does this is this written in a way that people can sing it and want to sing it and need to sing it and you know so it's important to me I'm not trying to write a just a pop song you know hit right. and I'm just really trying to help songs that maybe get in the fabric of people's lives and sung in churches and people who have no idea who I am don't care never will and but somehow they sing these songs and that's that's the coolest part sure sure and now in addition to the Grammy uh, another big thing happened to you you have a baby uh, that was born in September right yeah, right yeah. she's almost a year old awesome very good so um, tell me what's that like I guess to, to have that baby and to balance this kind of life you have being on the road <laughs> writing it's, songs yeah it's a new day man you know I love it I mean being a dad is the best thing in the world and everybody says that you know well a lot of people say that some people don't but I think it's best thing that's ever happened to me I know it is her name's Ashlyn she's a sweetie and uh, yeah it's different when you leave man when and I can't imagine when she's she's not talking yet but I can't imagine when she's saying you know don't leave and all those things and I'll yeah. be like done because I'm already done and she's she doesn't even know I'm really leaving and yeah, so yeah. it's awesome though I love I, I have an amazing wife and amazing little girl and I'm really thankful Oh, that's great. Well, uh, you know, we know you're so busy here at the State Fair. You come here, you're getting set up. Yeah. You don't even really have any time to see the State Fair. Right. So right. we decided we were going to bring you a little bit of the State Fair. Uh, if you're interested, uh, and you should be, I highly recommend it. These are our famous uh, Wisconsin uh, State Fair cream puffs. Wow. They're delicious and wonderful. I don't, wow. I don't know. That's oh. really good, actually. Yeah, you can just, you know, you could, some people like split them in half and eat them, like yeah, I mean, how would sandwiches. You you can, how would you even take a bite of that? Or you can just go like just all in, yeah. but it's going to get all over yeah, your, your sure show clothes. But 
There are plenty of napkins here too for you. Thank you. You're gonna this, need these. This is amazing. This is amazing. You know, State Fair is some of the best diet, American diets that you can find. If you just cruise the State Fair, you'll find everything you need. Fried Twinkies, fried Coke, fried Pepsi, cream puffs like this. Amazing. I think it's, you know, it's just this is for health nuts right here. Thanks, man. What, oh, yeah, no problem. Get? Yeah, no problem. Well, we'll let you eat that off camera so you can maintain your dignity. Uh, it doesn't get all over your clothes. <laughs> what a uh, good thing. But, you know, thanks so much for chatting with us. We appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much. It's Piet Levy from tatmilwaukee.com with Chris Tomlin. Thank you. Peace.